Hello and welcome to lesson six. In this particular lesson, we're going to talk about selections and masks and what is what, what does it mean to mask. A mask is basically removing areas of an image that you do not want without destroying the image. And let's go ahead and actually start creating a mask on this particular lesson. Uh, we have a young lady, we have two files, uh, we have two layers. This is the bottom layer, this is the top layer. We are going to want to mask this white area around her so we can see this background layer. And the way we're going to mask it, we can go to select and we can go uh, select the mask or we can click on any of the, of the tools, any of our quick select tools and we have mask and select on the bar. Whichever way you prefer, it's exactly the same tool. When we click on the mask and select, we'll notice that the ladies were selected. We can view it in different areas. We can do it on a black screen. We can do it on a white background, uh, on, a, on a black background overlay. I'm just going to go ahead and do the regular onion skin. And you'll see where this comes into play. For instance, right now, the lady is not selected. So if I will go ahead and put up the transparency all the way up, you'll notice she disappears. All the way down, she is very visible. Somewhere in the middle, I see what's going to be behind her and I see her. Right now, I'm going to create a quick selection of her. I'm going to hit select subject or I can go ahead and use object selection tool. Either or will give me her selection exactly the same. The book has you do the selection subject. I'm going to use this particular tool. The results are going to be identical. Now we see that she's been selected. Look how she is brightened up a little bit. Now when you go to transparency, notice what happens. When I increase the transparency, notice her hair back here and part of her body disappears. That's my mask. So now I need to modify this particular mask in order to add her hair back in that was removed. And part of her clothing right over here needs to be added back in. So let, let me go ahead and zoom into this area. And I'm going to use, I'm going to use the selection tool or quick select tool to select this portion of her clothing. And be careful not to go outside the area. I'm gonna to have to color that in. I'm going to go ahead and select, I'm adding to the selection. Notice how it the uh, clothing is becoming sharper and the, the mask is kind of disappearing slightly. Notice I just made a mistake right here. I'm gonna go ahead and subtract that mistake out. There we go. There we go. Now that her clothes is back in, you can see it on the black screen what has been selected. This is the overlay. You can see it on the overlay, you see the clothes is back in, but you see her hair and her and this portion of her hair is still showing the other image and this hair is totally gone. So let's, let's go back to the onion, sc onion screen, to, uh, to onion skin to see how it looks. I'm going to use uh, the actual refine edge tool to decontaminate the colors and select her hair. Watch what happens when I decontaminate the colors. I'm gonna select this area right here in the back and I'm going to also select some of her other hair that we might be uh, looking at. Give me one second. Let me go ahead and change the view. Notice how her frizzy hair, these little frizzy areas around her hair will disappear when I increase the transparency. The ponytail no longer disappears. Notice there's a little fixing that needs to happen right up in here because I still see the other image. So let me go ahead and fix this up right in here, just like that. 
and I want her frizzy hair to come back a little bit so it looks natural. There's her frizzy hair coming back. And that looks a little bit more natural. See that? See that frizzy hair came back right here and right here? So now, if I look on the other layer, that's how the image looks. When I look at black, you can see the frizzy hair is back all around the image. Now, the next thing to do is to commit this change. And this will create a new mask. Notice under the output settings, I'm going to say new layer with layer mask. And I'm going to hit OK when I'm ready. But before I do that, let's go ahead and explore. Let's explore the radius tool. Let me go ahead and select the image on white background. So now we see the white background and we're going to explore the radius. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and explore the global refine tool. Let's go ahead and exaggerate the smooth lever. Do you see the difference that was happening? It smoothed it out, but look how weird it looks. So we don't want to do it 100%. We want to smooth it out just a little bit, not too much. And look what happens if we feather the image or sharpen it up. Now let's do an edge shift. Let's exaggerate to see what happens. L look at the edge, how it looks. Not very good. Let's go ahead and uh, the opposite way. Again, doesn't look very good. So let's go ahead and go back to zero where we started from. See how the edge looks. I like this look the best. I know the book is going to have you do something else. Let me see. I'm letting it go. I want to see how it's going to look. Not too dark. Kind of don't like it smooth. I don't like the smooth effect at all. So I'm just going to play with this shift edge. Kind of like it this way. Click OK. And notice that this is the original, how it looked with this background. We masked the background out, and now we can see the young lady and the background being this underline magazine background. See that? And we can see right through her hair, which is really awesome. Now let's go ahead and turn this background off. You can see, we can see right through the hair because we can see the checkerboard pattern. Now, one important thing to note, this right here is a mask. Notice the mask right now is connected by this symbol. It's linked, the image is linked to the mask. If you right click and disable the mask, that's what it looks like, what it looks like. If you enable the mask, not delete the mask. You want to enable the layer mask. There's the layer mask. Now, if you click on this link, this chain link, now look what happens. I'm going to move either the image or the mask. I'm moving the mask. Notice what's happening. I'm moving the mask one or the image one way or the other way. Undo, Control Z. Now, if I go ahead and notice that the little corners are now on the image. They were on the mask. Now they're on the image. Now I'm going to move the image. And the mask stays the same, and the image moves. I can put a different image in here, and I'll try to mask it, but it'll be a different image, so it won't quite fit. To relock it, just go ahead and click right in between. And now when you move both the layer, both the mask and the image moves together. That's all there is to it. Um, I'll be back to complete this lesson in my next video.